his birthday. We're gonna go out to eat. Um, that's all he wanted to do for his birthday, so what else? And uh, he dressed up. Yeah, he is. Uh huh. Look at him. Might have to grab a jacket. I thought I, I was thinking that, but. I'll be alright. Yeah, give me your keys, my love. We the only ones out here right now. Mhm. Mm Where the hell's everybody at? Enjoying this weather, I guess. I don't know. People no, be like, "Oh, this ain't that bad out. It ain't that bad." Oh, I'm not driving, huh? Yeah. I'm, it ain't bad. Yeah, no, you are driving. Oh, okay, all right. I'll drive. Yeah. That's funny. I'll drive. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came round, I was heading for a small disaster. So this is my wash routine. So I've been natural for about five years now. Um, coming January, I actually am just going through my hair with just some water. And I'm just making sure I get out all the shed hair because I've had it in braids for about a week, two weeks or so. Maybe longer. Um, I always start from the scalp. And I just make sure I shampoo my scalp very, very well, rinse, and then I repeat. I'm always keeping my hair taut. This helps to prevent tangling during the shampoo process. Um, I wash my hair in sections in order to prevent tangling, so that's why you see those little clips. Deep conditioning. The only reason why I use the three minute Aussie is because I plan on applying heat to my hair. And I'm really able to just comb through my hair very well. Start from the, the bottom and work my way up to the root. Um, I put very, very little heat on my hair. I um, protect my hair most of the time. I love my wigs. Um, I braid my hair. I wash deep condition, braid my hair down. It's what works for me. It's works for my lifestyle. Even with me going to the gym as heavy as I do. Um, one of you guys were asking me what I use on my braids. Or like underneath my wigs obviously. Because I work out so much and I sweat hard you know. It's a, it's by Carol's Daughter. And it is Mimosa Hair Honey Protective Styling. Um, it, that's in parentheses and it says clarifying scalp treatment. You just apply it directly onto a scalp gently massage with your fingers Do not rinse and keep out of reach of eyes, obviously um, Something just fell somewhere anyway. um, So I put this on my when I sweat really hard in the gym. I put this on my scalp and then um, It usually holds me over very well until wash day my hair doesn't I don't really have like dry scalp or problems with my scalp per se so it really really helps but I've been hearing really good things about this it's basically a blow bright a blow dry brush and it really helps to detangle your hair while blow drying your hair I don't put that much heat on my hair so I'm not gonna make this a habit but I just wanted to kind of See how this really works but i wanted to make sure my hair is probably con properly conditioned before using so i bought this a couple weeks ago so yeah i'm going to rinse my hair out because i've had this conditioner in for long enough right off the bat the blow dryer works pretty efficiently um i highly recommend it i'll link it down below too still working in those sections and I clip my ends a little bit. If you want a more detailed routine, just comment down below. But this is just like a quick little run through.
Here I'll write it down. So prior to me getting on the treadmill to warm up, I did a dynamic stretch. You could go ahead and screenshot this workout routine. I'll have it right here on the screen. This is called a goblet squat. Um, I usually do about 10 to 15 of these, and then I repeat the circuit three times through. These are banded squat walks with a weight. Um, for a modification, you don't have to use the weight. I just particularly like having the weight. So these are called hip abductors with a resistance band. So I make sure I'm sitting forward and I also sit back. So this helps to activate different parts of the glute. It really helps to get a nice little burn in. And it gives you a nice little rest in between sets. These are straight-legged dumbbell deadlifts. And you get to really see the extension of the quad. Weighted walking lunges. I'll have the whole entire workout in the description box. These are single legged leg pressed. I use absolutely no weight, just the weight of the plate because this thing's really heavy. I'm not sure what these are called, but I call them my dynamic leg presses. This really helps to get those glutes burning. Comment down below and let me know if you like this type of video or if you just would like me to slow down these tutorials, do voiceovers so I can give you more detail as to what I'm doing. because Coco seems a little red um, and if it doesn't work out I can always return it and get mocha whenever that decides to come back into stock and I got this hat so this is a photo from my Instagram peep the highlight though um, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat Seamus Plug so these, this is the Huda Beauty 3D highlight palette and the, the gold sand edition so that's the highlight in like very dim low light. I'm gonna do a, I have to redo um, this review I was gonna do because I wasn't recording. Uh, how annoying is that? I was not recording. This was $10 eyeshadows I keep talking about. So I'm going to use this Huda Beauty foundation and I'll do a separate video and my impressions. Um, but yeah, I'm super sick. All right, guys, I'm going to be making Philly cheesesteaks tonight. You can buy this Castlewood Angus roast beef, which is top round. Basically mixed with some yellow, orange, red pepper, one Vidalia onion. And then I got Cuban sandwich rolls. I'll cut these all on about quarter inch strips. Um... Anyone that knows me knows I'm kind of a perfectionist, so the reason you cut everything in about the same size is so that it all cooks evenly. If you cut it in about quarter inch strips, cut it in half one more time.
my tablespoon of olive oil in here. All right, guys, I dumped the meat in over top of the aromatics. I still got the temperature set at medium. Now basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come across with the black pepper, the crushed red, the garlic, the onion, the mixed salt, and the smoked paprika. I'm gonna put a nice layer across the top of everything here. And I'm just gonna let that sit because I want all the flavor of the vegetables to permeate up through the meat. All right guys, grab some of these mild banana pepper rings out, put them on a paper plate, chop them up real fine, drop them in there. Throw a little teaspoon, that's the small one, of garlic in there. I like making it with these Cuban rolls. Uh, one of the reasons is, is Cuban bread is made with no preservatives. So while it does go bad and stale quick, this bread's super fresh. The outside crust is real flaky and tender. Anyone know anything about these right here? Cracking sour cream chips is what they should be called. Real quick, I just got leggings from Gymshark. They are actually having a sale. I'm not sponsored by the way, I just love leggings. They're one of my obsessions. The next leggings I plan on getting is, I just ran out of the steps to get it. I just got them. I'm gonna try them on. And these pants, by the way, I have a whole video on all my favorite leggings, what I recommend. You know. Um, these leggings are from Bombshell Leggings. And now they have high-waisted ones where they come up a little bit higher than this one. But yeah, fit leggings from Gymshark. Super stoked, super excited. I did just get some stuff for the Black Friday sale. Oh, I'm in love! They fit so nice. I don't know if they're squat proof though. <laughs> I'm like falling over. I'm just so excited, look at them, look at them. I don't know if these are still in stock. I'm gonna go on the website right now to see if they still have, still have these um, pants in stock because they fit so nicely. Let me. St 